Yes, the topic is about uh, how to use a template for drawing hexagon, pentagon, square like that we are going to discuss. Uh, this part is called uh, template shown green in color. So using this template you can draw hexagon, pentagon uh, ready-made, ready-madely of standard size. Standard size at 10 mm or uh, 15 mm, 20 mm, 25 mm, 30 mm, 35 mm, up to 40 mm we can concentrate. Uh, uh, regular hexagon and uh, regular pentagon, regular square we can draw ready-madely without using protector. Uh, for uh, make it uh, draw diagram faster in the university examinations and in practice also you can use uh, this template. Uh, suppose if they are allowing in the university examination you can take the template to the examination hall also. The purpose of this video is to show how to use a template for drawing hexagon, pentagon, square like that. Okay, so uh, this, uh, this is called as uh, template. Uh, engineering template uh, this this square is used to draw squares uh, of this uh, template and uh, this part is uh, is used to draw center part is used to draw pentagon of various sizes uh, shown as a 10 mm 15 mm 20 mm 25 mm 30 35 40 and here you can see in this base part of this uh, template you can draw using this uh, more tem template tem holes you can draw hexagon Hexagon will have six sides. Suppose if I want to draw, consider I go to draw a hexagon. So usually um, XY line is drawn like this. See XY line is a reference line. Okay. Is uh, usually in, in the projection of projection of uh, planes. If a edge or side is parallel to VP, parallel to VP means a parallel to the XY line. We I going to draw a line. Uh, this is reference line called as the XY line. Parallel to the reference line, I draw a line, a lighter line like this. Okay. For the condition being, uh, one of the edge or one of the side of the hexagon parallel to VP. Parallel to VP means parallel to the XY line. Draw a re second reference line. Okay. Take the hexagon part of the template. This is hexagon part. St I consider. 30 mm as the base side, uh, what is called as the hexagon side is 30 mm. So in this 30 mm, uh, any one of the side of this hexagon can be chosen. I will choose this as the side, 30 mm side. So the 30 mm inclined line must coincide with this second uh, drawn uh, parallel line. Okay, so keep the template like this. So turn your template, any one, has one side of the hexagon must coincide with this uh, parallel line. 30 mm means 30 mm line should coincide. In such a way you rotate the template and before that you sharpen this pencil or uh, if you are using micro tip pencil means it's enough. Eh? Suppose if you are using ordinary pencil you have to sharpen this uh, pencil uh, lead. Okay, so that you can locate a point by inserting into the holes. So 30 mm this is the this is that line the 30 mm line of the hexagon coincided with this parallel line so put a dot on this 30 mm line okay on all the six corners hexagon will have six corners okay so trace is 30 mm so trace is 30 mm and complete the location of the points so the if suppose if you are confusing means this will be 10 mm 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, put a point. So wherever 30 mm point is there means you have to uh, put a uh, mark that point. This is 30. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, put a point. Also locate the center, center of the hexagon like this, okay. So remove this template. So you can see the marked points. So using free hand scale or ordinary scale, you can join the connect the marked points and you can construct an uh, hexagon. So I join, this is a reference line, parallel to XY line, one edge is obtained. Okay, now join the marked points using freehand scale and HB pencil, it's object line, the edges of this uh, hexagon. It's better to use ordinary scale for constraining this hexagon and the template. So this is how uh, ready-madely we can draw hexagon. Suppose an edge perpendicular to VP, an edge of the hexagon perpendicular to VP means you have to draw a line using the drafter scale, 
a reference line is to be drawn using the draft scale perpendicular perpendicular to the xy line in that case your x again uh, orientation changes so you extend this xy line okay perpendicular to vp means perpendicular to the xy line you have to draw the second reference line okay in this second reference line one of the side of your hexagon must coincide so i'll uh, show how it is how it is to be drawn so take any one side of this hexagon that's also one side you can take it that mm side means that mm side uh, line is uh, kept uh, this that mm line must coincide with this vertical drawn line keep like this and uh, mark the points that mm point to complete all the six sides so you have to incline your uh, template like this so 30 suppose if you have confusion means you can count 10 this is 10 mm 15 20 25 30 for every 30 mm uh, holes you have to mark the point 10 15 20 25 30 10 15 20 25 30 also you can locate the center of the hexagon also like this okay and remove your template using free and scale you can construct the hexagon joining all those marked points So this is how you can readymadely complete the hexagon or pentagon. In some universities they are not allowing template that you have to confirm whether you are allowing or not. So this is the direct way to draw hexagon. So compared to this hexagon, two hexagons I have drawn. This is an hexagon, hexagon side parallel to VP means you have to draw hexagon like this in the top we have shown. This is an hexagon, uh, one of the side of the hexagon perpendicular to VP means perpendicular to the XY line. I consider this is as uh, A point B, C, D, E, F. I consider AF as one of the side of the hexagon perpendicular to VP means perpendicular to the XY line having 90 degree. Understand? This is parallel. The corners being marked as A, say A, B. C, D, E, F. Okay. In similar way, you can construct pentagon also. Suppose I can draw for demonstration purpose, I draw, draw a pentagon. In such a way, it is one of the base uh, side or one of the side of your pentagon. Parallel to VP means parallel to the XY line, draw a second reference line, lighter line. Okay. In this line, your pentagon of whatever the side given you choose uh, the various sizes given of the pentagon are 10 15 20 i consider 25 mm 25 mm means this is that line 25 mm line this line must coincide with this parallel line you keep in the turn your template like this and locate the points trace the 20 mm side the points all the points are traced Also, you can locate the center of the pentagon also and remove your draw template. Join all the marked points so that you will obtain the ready-made uh, pentagon. Instead of using protector, you can construct this pentagon. In some universities, they are allowing uh, to use template. So, you can join the, this is center of the pentagon. So pentagon. Suppose if you want to draw a side a perpendicular to xy line or perpendicular to the reference line means you have to draw a perpendicular line perpendicular to the xy. That is perpendicular to vp. In that condition you can draw a line perpendicular to vp means perpendicular to the xy line also. I consider now 30 mm side pentagon is to be constructed. That means any one side of the pentagon this is 30 mm line okay so you keep the, the 30 mm line over this perpendicular line and locate all the five corners pentagon will have five sides and five corners this is 30 suppose if there is confusion means you count the number of holes this is first hole is 10 15 20 25 30 so every this is a 30 comes on 1 2 3 4 fifth hole 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5th hole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5th hole. 
you can locate the center also. So remove your template using free and scale you can construct join all the marked points using HB pencil is a edge or the side can be drawn by using HB pencil appears to be dark. So this purpose of the center point is to, suppose if there is a, a portion of point a solids, a portion of solids, uh, looking from the top surface you can see the apex part. Pyramid will have slant edges. Okay. For draw in that case you can use the center point of the pentagon or hexagon to show the top view. The top view may be marked as O. And the corners may be marked as A, say A, B, C, D, E. So this is how we can construct uh, polygons, hexagon, pentagon, square like that, okay. Square is easy to draw, you can practice of your own, how to use a template, okay. Thank you, thank you for listening, yes.